You're here in a wet and windy Kirkcaldy night, but we're going to be talking about the Morton game that's uh, just on the horizon. You're going to do our half-time piece, having played for both teams. First one I want to put to you is our cup run. Tell us, uh, tell us a couple of wee quick memories from, from that trip. A fantastic run. Uh, brilliant. Uh, a lot of good players in that, lot, in that team. A lot of good players. Uh, the Aberdeen game, we nearly won here. They scored the last kick of the ball. Uh, uh, and then up to Aberdeen and Taddy scores a goal but before that uh, but Mark Campbell obviously with his accident with other injuries uh, and with a makeshift back four but to get through that game just showed sort of, uh, how together the team was were really good uh, fantastic result up there yeah. uh, but not just the team everybody was in it together and then going to Dundee away I don't think Andy sort of gave us a chance uh, but the way uh, the gaffer put puts together and developed as a group. Uh, you've seen the work ethic. Uh, I think that start last time was full. It was noisy and scoring two early goals. It, could, it should have been three. The third one was, was definitely five yards on side. Uh, but it, it was fantastic. Uh, and I think most of the boys, uh, that's probably uh, getting to the semi-final. It's a highlight of their career. Got to Hamden Park, uh, playing Dun United. Incredible experience. We've all probably been there as supporters and played other games, but being there in the semi-final, uh, with everything that goes along with it, is a fantastic experience and just unfortunately we, we, couldn't, have, we couldn't have won. But uh, I think it long, lives long in my memory that game, that, that run, brilliant. You had great success because uh, you know, we won the, won the league 2008, it's the second time you won the league in kind of three years as we're, we're going to talk about Morton in a wee minute. Um, what was your memories of that particular season? I mean, uh, the the kind of the most famous picture I think of that that league campaign is you diving in the the mud against our broth, <laughs> a game that the groundsman told me the ref said I wouldn't put it on if actually the points were important, but uh, let's just get it over the line. Um, yeah. What do you remember of that particular campaign? Oh, the pr pressure was on right, right for the start for the pre-season. Uh, we aim to go and win the league. Uh, with we had sort of uh, challenges at United win the league, uh, but uh, John McGlynn was, was adamant we're going to go and win this league and play the way you train. And not, nothing's really changed that way. Uh, fantastic squad of players, Mark Ferry, Sloan, uh, it was unbelievable. Todd Lumsden, the older generation, was in there. Big Mark Campbell, centre half, Mav Marvin Andrews, uh, myself and Gary Connors, the, goalke uh, the goalkeeper. Uh, really, really, really good. Uh, fantastic go, go and win the league uh, that day. That day was. Pulling the rain, but it was great to sort of dive in the muck and uh, celebrate with the boys. But uh, it's incredible you think to just now that you've uh, Smudger still here, uh, the gaffer still here, which is great. And a go great goalkeeping coach, Abaza, who worked as extremely hard and proves a goalkeeper. Uh, Pud, uh, the physio, brilliant physio. Still seen him uh, la last year, really good in Gunter, obviously. Uh, sad that what happened, he passed away, but he was. He helped us tremendously and uh, helped help, help me a lot. Uh, and, it was, and I think for those guys as a coaching group, uh, it was r r really good. You see how close they were th throughout the years and it was, it was tremendous to, to go and win that. Yeah, a lot, a lot of close games and we scored late on. Uh, even Sloane scoring a free kick into Breakin uh, for 25, oh, 25 yards. Uh, Mark Ferry came on and scored with a, a last minute header. It was a sub first touch goal. We played right to the end and that's that's all down to sort of how we trained and it c came from uh, the, the coaching staff. So what about um, Morton, um, the team that you came to Raith Rovers from and a, a, a successful team that you were part of, 2006 um, league winners? What yep. can you tell us about that particular squad? There were some really good players in there. <laughs> some very good players in there. Uh, Chris Miller, uh, Jim McAllister, Peter Wells, and a lot, a lot of good players in there. A lot of good, a lot of good characters. Uh, very good team. Uh, Jim McAnally and Martin Clark had the team, uh, we won it here. Uh, Paul Mayers came in as well and he, he played a bit, uh, he, he played a, a massive part to it uh, as an experienced goalkeeper. Uh, but I was full time, I, think I had a brilliant time at Morton, uh, seven, eight years I spent there, uh, full time. But at that point in my life, yeah, coming away from the uh, opportunity to go part time and have a job, it was sort of, was it was the, was the correct th th thing to do, uh, but uh, a fantastic uh, it was tough, it was tough that year, there were ups and downs with it, but the pressure was on because we were, we were full time and Morton sh uh, ideally sh shouldn't win that league so they should win sort of the, cha the championship, uh, 
good support and I've got on well with sort of the back of my staff I had a lot of time for uh, the chairman as well a lot of time at Arthur Montford as well uh, so that's how passed away great man wasn't he yeah brought myself gentlemen uh, but the players were, were really good hard 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 working and so sort of, once again that goal and that sort of desire to work each other hard to sort of go and win the league um, I was kind of mentioning a wee story. Our chairman was delighted that particular day, not only with the, the kind of size of the Morton support for the financial contribution to the club, but uh, had a squad of ten volunteers hand washing every one of those three thousand seats. Because they hadn't been used for a few years, so uh, so he got some free maintenance as well. I, I think we expect a big crowd that day, but that's that's the atmosphere. Probably similar back to the semi-final Dundee, and the, the noise was incredible that day. Uh, you can hear the noise incredible. They were singing, but we did get beat, but we. Uh, we did win the league and it's, uh, a league is not won over a day, it's won over a full season So and all that work you do in the training ground, never another game uh, counts in. So a lot of support and if, if the fans have been brilliant to myself, uh, I think I'll go back there or, or, or I meet them even when I was there, so I've got a lot, lot of time for everyone there. Got to, um, I'd like to ask you about a couple of uh, players that, that you'll have um, played with. Um, Probably most notable Peter Wellison, I think 300 plus games, probably something like a goal every three games. Well known to Rovers fans because we always had this idea that he just loved to score against us. You know, if you're going to the bookies, he was a boy you would put on for first goal scorer. The <laughs> other one's another goal scorer, Brian Graham, um, who, you know, much loved here and um, through his spell with us. Well, tell us a wee bit about these two characters and their work ethic. Uh, Peter could score goals. P Peter could score goals uh, quite easily. Uh, we left foot, right foot, his head. He's got a, a number of diff different goals. All love to score against me, I think. Uh, Brian Graham was a younger lad uh, coming through at Morton, but he had that sort of desire and that ability to know where the, where the goal is. Uh, and you see, when he came here, uh, his, a his attitude is second to none. He's training. He desires to go and win and push people forward. And he, 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 he is a winner, and that's the way he plays, that's the way he trains, and with the career he's had, and he, he's having just now, you can't d d d d dispute that. But I think he went out to loan to East Stirling at one point to sort of get games, and, to, and I think the uh, boys need that, and he got uh, the confidence got there. He had that inner belief in himself that he knew he could score goals, and he's, he's proven that. Tell us about your, your kind of current role. You're, um, you're here as your registered player, but. Um Part of the backroom staff yourself, and, and certainly thinking back to the Queen of the South game, I, I don't think I've ever seen you more vocal at a game than I did at that particular <laughs> game. And Saturday past, and you were in sidelines. How are you how are you enjoying that particular role? You know, you're covering a wee bit with John, not being present just now. Yeah, uh, it's good. Done a wee bit last year, but uh, done a bit, a bit more this this year. So sort of, last year I was more player coach. It's sort of, sort of it's reversed this year to coach. Coach come player. Yeah. Uh, I'm still training uh, the jammer, still training with Robbie, still keep myself if needed, then if needed uh, I'm, I can fill in a slot and, and, and do a bit. But the, the coaching side learn a lot from the gaffer, learn a lot from Smudger on their methods and reasons why they're doing things and how they're setting things up. So it's not just a case of putting put on a session, it's a lot of thought goes into it uh, for e each week, uh -huh. looking at the the video footage as well, so it's good. It, nothing can it, nothing can change the way about the desire for the goal playing that, that buzz. But it's a different type of buzz. But it's great to still be involved. And at 40, it's good to still be involved. <laughs> Tell us about your um, your feelings for the club. You know, you've been back several times. I was telling you that you're now our third most. Um, I was going to say capped, but you made the third uh, highest level of. Um, performances for the club by Bobby Reid and Murray McDermott so you're, you're up there with legends in their own right what, what does Ray Throvers mean to you? Well this club I love coming I love coming here to go and play to go and coach to, to be involved in it uh, I wouldn't come back if, if I wouldn't try to come back or, or want to sign if, if I wasn't happy it's not that people come through but you've still got to produce you've still got to do, do things right uh, a bit of volunteers behind the scenes when you when you look at that the volunteers behind the scenes is incredible and these guys and you guys lo love the club so I think what we, we have to do as players is to go over and above and make sure that we are we are physically and mentally ready to sort of go and win for ourselves but work win for the fans and with you guys <laughs> behind the scenes a lot of things don't happen uh, and that 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 that's proven so we've got to sort of keep doing that and hopefully we can have a good season and last year ended 
Uh, but we won the league, so we're up there. I think deservedly so, and we'll hopefully go and kick on.